Hello my dear students wish you all a great day today we will study chapter money and we will do the addition of rupees and paise we all know how to add the numbers it's very easy for us but in case of money we have to add rupees and paise separately we cannot add them together this is 133 rupees and 18 paise this is not 1 13318 this is not a single number these are two different numbers so let's revise one basic information like 1 rupee is equals to 100 paise so 1 rupee is equals to 100 paise so we will use this fact in solving these questions easily like uh, the question is add the following this question is given on in your maths book on page number 159 exercise 11.2 question 1 add the following a rupees 133 18 paise rupees 242 30 paise so first we will add the numbers given in the column of paise p stands for paise so let's start 8 plus 0 gives you 8 all right 1 plus 3 will make 4 now once we have completed over here now we'll move to this column rupees 1 3 and 2 3 plus 2 will make 5 and 3 plus 4 will make 7 and 1 plus 2 will make 3 so the answer is rupees 375 and 48 paise easy Yes. Now let's move on to level two questions. Here, this question seems simple. Rupees one hundred and fifty-six and twenty-seven paise. Rupees three hundred and thirty-eight and ninety paise. See what is the difference in these two questions. First, we'll add, then I'll show you the difference. Seven plus zero is seven. 2 plus 9 gives you 11 we will not write 11 here we will write 11 here and see 27 plus 90 gives you 117 27 plus 90 gives you 170 but see what is paise going to think i have only two rooms in my house one and two but there are three people standing here i cannot accommodate all three over here so what should i do now p is paise is thinking i have only two rooms here but there are three numbers now what to do see children as you know that 100 paise is equals to 1 rupee so here 117 paise can also be written as 100 paise plus 17 paise so 100 paise means 1 rupee 100 paise can be written as 1 rupee so rupee 1 plus 17 paise now here paise has two uh, two digits 1 and 7 so it can be easily written here this 17 paise can be written here so 27 plus 90 gives you 117 paise but it can also be written as 100 paise and 17 paise so 100 paise is equals to 1 rupee and 17 paise so 17 paise i have written here now what to do with this 1 rupee where to take it because there is no room for this here and paise will say you are rupee you cannot come and live in my house so this rupee what will it do he will think oh my god this rupee 1 is feeling lonely let's bring it 
to our house. So this rupee will take this one rupee to his house and will say you come and sit here. Be us be with us. So one six and eight. Now let's add these three numbers. Now what is this? This is rupee one, like one hundred and fifty six rupees, three hundred and thirty eight rupees. This is one rupee. So one plus six plus eight. What do you think? What will be the answer? So we always start adding with the cap uh, bigger number so that it's easier for us to add. Eight plus six gives you fourteen and one. 15. So 5 here and 1 here. 5 plus 3, 8 plus 1, 9 and 3 plus 1, 4. So what is the answer? 495 rupees and 17 paise. Now how will you understand or make uh, make the dif make out the difference that whether to you follow this step or not? If you are adding, see here two digits, here also two digits. If your answer is coming in two digits, then you can simply add this column and then this column. But in case your answer is, when you are adding these two numbers, your answer is more than two digits, in three digits. Then what will you do? You will separate them in two parts, 100 paise, 17 paise, then rupee 1. And this rupee 1 will go and live with rupees. So, 1 plus 156 plus 338. So, answer is 495 and 17 paise. So, I hope you all have understood how to add. Now, next question that is on page number 160 in your maths notebook is subtract the following. Again, rupees and paise. We'll recall... The very basic fact that rupee 1 is equals to 100 paise. Now, 76 rupees, 43 paise, 28 rupees, 39 paise. Think of it as two different parts. Now, simply we'll subtract 3 minus 9, not possible. So, you know that 4 will give 1, 2, 3 and it will become 13. 13 minus 9 will give you 4 and this becomes 3. <clears throat> 3 minus 3 gives you 4. So the answer is 0, 4 here. And 6 minus 8 again not possible. Do you remember children that I have told you a small story about subtraction that uh, this number is smaller so 6 minus 8 is not possible. So 6 will go to 7 and ask for help. So 7 will say, alright, I can give you one number. So 6 will take that number and 6 is very smart. It will not become 6 plus 1 is equals to 7. It will make 1 as his friend and 6 and 1 will become 16. So 16 minus 8 8 and this becomes 6, 6 minus 2, 4. Answer is 48 rupees and 4 paise. Next question, rupees 256, 27 paise minus 123, 84 paise. Now you have to think because this is 27 rupees and this is 84. How can you subtract a bigger number from a smaller number? Okay, let's try. 7 minus 4, 3. Okay, 2 minus 8, not possible. But from whom 2 will borrow any number to become 12? It's not possible here because you have to solve rupees and paise separately. Now what to do? Paise here, 27. Okay, I'll rewrite the question again. So, 
I have written the question again. So, 27 minus 84 is not possible. Now, this 27, this 27 pesos is getting worried. How to sub do the subtraction? Now, see this rupees. He is so kind, so helpful. He is looking at uh, P, Pese and thinking, wondering how to help Pese. Now, rupees is thinking that I will give, okay, I do not, I cannot give much, but at least I can give one rupee to Pese. Understood, children? So, you have uh, seen that rupees is so kind and so helpful. He is thinking of giving one rupee to Pese. Now, Pese is uh, though worried, but he is very smart. He will take this one rupee and make it hundred Pese. So, 100 Pese taken from this side, 1 rupee converted into 100 Pese and this 27 Pese. What will this Pese do? Add 100 Pese plus 27 Pese is equals to 127 Pese. Now, this 27 will become, since we are adding 100 to it, it will become 127. Now, it is 127. This is 84. This number is greater than this number. We can simply, easily subtract. 7 minus 4, 3, 2, or we can rather say 12, because this is the only number here. 12 minus 8, 4, now, this 6 will become 5 because 1 rupee has been given to Pese. So, 5 minus 3, 2. 5 minus 2, 3. See, these, are, these two are reverse of each other. 5 minus 3, 2. 5 minus 2, 3. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So, the answer is 132 and 43. Now again like in addition here also you have to think whether to follow this step or not. So to decide it you have to see that uh, in the column of Pese the above number the number here should be smaller than this number. If this number is greater than this number, then you can easily subtract. But in case this number is smaller, then it is not possible to subtract. Then you have to do this step. So, this is the a way you can find out whether to follow this step or not. So, I hope you all have understood these uh, method of solving addition and subtraction of chapter money. And now I would like you to, now uh, I would like you to solve the questions given in your maths book that is on page number 159 and 160. Question 1, addition and question 2, subtraction in your books. You may write the answers in your book and and in case you have any problem, We'll discuss it further. Thank you. Wish you all a great day. Take care of your health and take care of your family as well. Thank you, dear students.